Hello YouTube! Coming to you from within my kitchen. <laughs> because I'm way too embarrassed to do this voiceover in the tea room, which is where I'm usually at. <laughs> because Martin is home. Uh, I hope the sound from in here won't be too bad. I think there might be a slight echo and I hope my neighbors will be quiet while I do this. But you never know. I will do my best to edit stuff out if it gets too, I don't know, noisy or what do you call it, grindy? I don't know. Anyways, hello guys, how are you? Uh, today it's midsummer, it's Midsummer's Eve here in Sweden, which is kind of a big deal for us Swedes. You might have heard about it, you might not have heard about it, but this is the evening where we get drunk as frack and do crazy as shit. However, I'm not really feeling the vibe though. So I'll probably, I think I'm gonna be the driver for tonight, so I'm, I'm stuck being sober. <laughs> Not that I mind though, I'm kind of sick of alcohol and, and things like that anyway. I'm getting too old guys, Where? 30 years old now, holy crap. Anyways, onto the video, I guess. Um, in the beginning of this video you will see me just sketching at Kostya directly on him uh, because I'm planning out the way I want to cut him up <laughs> and make his joints in the in the in the future. So I just use a pencil and sketch it out. Just yeah. Uh, from the beginning, I had more footage of what I did just before I started sketching out the joints, but the video got way too long, and I and I decided to just stick to the parts that were actually interesting. So this is uh, this is a let's cut dolls up videos. <laughs> yes. Um, what more to say about that? I don't know. I'm I'm sorry for uh, the way the camera is kind of shaking at some parts when I use my saw to um, get into I think his arms and chest and hip areas. Uh, I, ac I actually put my camera stand up on the same desk that I was working on which is stupid. I should have put it on the second desk which is to off to the side then it would have, wouldn't have uh, been shaking as badly but I'm hoping you guys can be understanding about this because I can't go back and re-record a thing because the doll is in pieces. So yeah, that's that. As for tools during this video, I used my trusty Dremel, which I got a couple of years back. I think maybe three or four years back, maybe even five. Man, I never had it that long. Oh well, it's really good, and I'm I'm basically just using it to make the beginning of the cuts um, to make it easier for my cheap little saw thing that I bought a couple years back to get into the creases and really get into the clay and also buy myself some time because like sawing a doll in pieces takes a crap load of time believe me and my hands thank me for using the Dremel in the beginning because they were aching after this video, let me tell you that. Uh, I also used some of my sculpting tools and my um, knife to poke around in there and see how far in I've gotten. Yeah, I think that's the things that I use. There are probably better ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. I like it and it's, I don't know, it, it lets me be not so perfectionistic while I'm cutting him up. Like, I don't have to care too much about uh, rugged uh, edges or things like that because I haven't sculpted him into perfection just yet. I've waited with most of the finer details and the sanding bits and stuff like that because I think I would go crazy if I if I had sculpted a perfectly fine statue of a doll and then cut it up and it came out looking like crap after I, I did it um, that would probably mess me up <laughs> so I decided to just leave him 
in the way that he was and just go from there. And there was probably a point to that sentence somewhere, but I, I think I lost it, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, like I said, my hands were aching after this video was made. It took several hours and lots and lots of patience to get this doll into pieces. It was hard as F that the dust, the dust clay is really, really hard once it's hardened. <laughs> Obviously, well, once it's uh, dried, I mean. But it's a good clay, I like it. It's cheaper than the other alternatives, I think. And it does its job. It's kind of heavy, but I like it, so it's worth it. And yeah, since it's Midsummer Summer's Eve, I'm kind of in a rush. I got places to go, food to get, stuff like that. So this is, this is short, but it's sweet, you know? I hope, I really hope this Voice over won't, won't have to be like recorded again because I really don't have the time right now, which sucks because I would love to sit down and do a more like in depth commentary about what I'm doing in this video. I might actually do that because I'm thinking of starting up my Patreon. I've been thinking about that for quite some time, but if or rather when I start up my Patreon page, I will probably do like slightly longer videos and put some more effort into the voiceovers and really dig into what I'm doing at the, the time of the recording, you know? And hopefully some of you will find that interesting enough to check out my Patreon. Yeah, anyways, I gotta go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Midsummer Eve, guys! I hope you're having a good time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!